Hello everyone and welcome to The Break Run. My name is Kevin. And my name is Frank. And today we're going to be discussing locker and loose object policies at various parks including the new policy at Six Flags Great Adventure. So recently Six Flags Great Adventure updated the strictness on their policies for King Ka and El Toro. That loose art previously loose articles were allowed in buttoned or zippered pockets and they could go on the ride. If not, they'd have to go into a paid ride locker. Mm -hmm. um, but now for King Ka and El Toro, you have to no kind of loose articles of any kind are allowed in any kind of pockets and have to go with a non-rider or into a locker. Yeah. So what do you think about all this, Frank? What? I think in the long run, um, like let's look at the big pictures of why they're doing this. Um, the big two I see are for safety reasons and for capacity and efficiency. So safety, I'm really big on safety based on my work experience. A lot of incidents happen from like loose objects like cell phone stuff falling out and hitting others or going getting stuck in the ride track. So it's smart. Why not? have this policy it makes everything more um, safe and also efficiency when pe you don't have stuff in your pockets or you have to put stuff to the side it makes dispatch times faster and, and the t in the wait time a lot uh, lower so, but there's also some negative aspects that now you have to pay every time you want to go on a ride right it's one thing if ride lockers are optional and you have to it, a lot of parks do this sea world park six flags park cedar fair starts to do it a little it, if you're paying, if they require you to use a ride locker for a bag, okay, you don't have to have a bag, right? It's fine. You can, it's optional. You can go ahead and pay a dollar for a ride locker. Okay, that's fine. But everybody who comes to the park is bringing their cell phone in. Everyone's bringing their car keys in. Wallet. And everybody's bringing their wallet in. Yeah. So you're telling me that you have, because you need those things, you have to put them in a locker. You have to pay for them. Yeah. I just... I, I personally think that's immoral. If you're having a policy where you're enforcing every single thing in your pocket to go into a locker, yeah. that locker should be free. Yeah. You know, Universal does this already where you're going, when you enter one of the big roller coaster queues, you're entering a line, you go through a metal detector, but their lockers are free. Sure, there's complaints, you're not gonna avoid that, but the complaints are so less significant than what I can foresee Great Adventures complaints yeah. being. And now, I mean, to combat that, Obviously, theme parks need to make money, right? So it makes sense that they're charging because those lockers are expensive. They they should be making a profit off that, but it's also they need to think about the guests. Yeah, they're screwing over the guests. That now, besides pay, think about how much money they make between just paying for parking, which Six Flags always increasing. It costs more to park at Six Flags than at Disney or Universal. Mm -hmm. And then admission, and then food, and then merchandise, and just all this miscellaneous stuff. Now they're charging, you have to pay a dollar for for every ride you do and you're gonna be yeah. doing so many rides with a day. Like I get it like where it's like, yeah, you don't need a bit you need a bag, put a bag in a locker if you can't bring it in. But like your cell phone, like you have to pay. It's just it's I, I see why they're doing it, but it's also really inconvenient on the guests because it's right. a hospitality industry. You need mm -hmm. to be focused thinking about the guests and how many guest negatives and complaints are gonna be that from all these guests at Six Flags yep. Parks. Well what what is the core aspect of theme parks lately? It's to quote Hershend, creating memories worth repeating. It's about creating ex incredible experiences to bring back your repeat guests, yeah. to increase season pass holder sales. No. Who's going to want to come back if they have to pay every time they're gonna to wanna to go on a ride? Yeah, it's like, it's like, if you're constantly pulling every dime out of their pocket, yeah. who's gonna to wanna to come back? Again, it makes sense, because that's why theme parks are around to make money, but you're also, you ha again, like what you said, the, my memory is going to be me pissed off having to spend, dropping another $20 to get on. And, and I'm not like a fan of everything should be free or whatnot, but it's also, you have to, it, it's to a certain level. Like they really should, they shouldn't make everything free in a theme park, obviously, but yeah. like lockers for, you have to put stuff in. Like I think Universal's policy is great. It's, it's really perfect. And not all the lockers at Universal are free. Mm -hmm. The ones that are optional, like the water rides and like some other stuff all day lockers all day lockers yeah. you have to pay for those because you could bring your bag on the ride but if you don't want to you put in a locker and you have to pay some money for that yep. and that's how they make the money back for all the rest of the lockers that are being free yep. so, so. It, it's it's also really interesting also how they're enforcing this as well because universal they had the metal detectors are they doing the same thing at six flags like how how could you sneak it on i have no clue you know it, it it's something that's so new it, it, we'll I'm, see what happens. Yeah, you have yeah. to see what happens, and I'm interested to see how their guest satisfaction scores go. Yeah. Are they going to go up or down because of this? Like, what's the deal? Like, yeah. you know, I just, I personally think, like we've said before, yeah. that if you're going to force people, don't charge. But 
who knows? Is this? Do you think this is going to be a trend that we're going to be seeing in the future? Or? I've I've always thought, based on like my work experience, that this something like this has to happen throughout the industry, where you have to be more strict on loose objects like cell phones and stuff flying off on rides. But I think just the way they're approaching it could be better. Yeah. Um, I think so. This is definitely going to increase. I think slowly. Yeah. I mean, this is going to be. A te I think right now, Great Adventure is a test subject on how it's going to impact the future. Well, um, go ahead. No, no, sorry. I was going to say. You kind of see with things like this in the theme park industry, once one starts doing it, they all it start kind of it. starts to trickle down. Just like, I mean, we're not going to talk about virtual reality because there's so much going on, but like virtual reality started off with the one drop tower at Georgia, and now it's been to all the, almost all six size parks, just even now Great Adventures getting VR yeah, drop tower. So I think, that, I think that we're going to start seeing a lot more parks go about, you know, making people not bring loose articles on the yeah. rides, but I, I just want to see if... All the parks are going to be charging for yeah, the Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Or it's going to be... And also it, now you know. with other parks as well, like would Cedar Fair start doing this? Um, is SeaWorld going to start saying yeah. that you can't get on like Kraken or Mako, you know, put everything in a locker and pay for yeah. it. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. But And I've been really hard on Great Adventure in this video, but I also want to give them a little bit of slack because they are kind of like the test dummy with it. Yeah. You know, so there's definitely... So trial and error. So yeah. obviously you're going to have... Yeah. negative stuff when you're impl implementing something new at a park. So. Right. So I think, you know, I, w I welcome putting all the stuff in a locker. I just, my personal opinion is yeah. it should not be. Yeah, I, mean, I think, we, I think we both definitely agree that it's smart that they're doing this for like a number of reasons, but they should, they shouldn't be just focused on the money. Yeah. They should be also focused on the guests and the experience as well, as opposed to just stealing all the money out of the whole yeah. guests. So. so let us know what you guys think. Do you guys see this trend continuing throughout the theme park industry? And do you think that it's right that they should be charging for a locker? Or do you think they should not charge for a locker at all? Let us know in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching these videos. Please click thumbs up, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to us on YouTube for more coming theme park videos. Thank you so much for making us a part of your day. We'll see you next week. Bye.